Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. I am sharing with you the top reasons why you should not date interracially or date interculturally. The first reason that I want to share with you all is that you should not date somebody from a different race or a different culture because you don't want to hurt their feelings. Different cultures date differently, for lack of a better way of saying it. We shouldn't come at dating as this thing where I don't wanna be mean, so I'm just going to say yes. Because that yes, depending on the culture that the person is from, could have very different implications when it comes to dating than the ones that you are used to. If the idea of being in a relationship with this person doesn't make you feel comfortable, don't go for it. Another reason you don't want to enter into an interracial or an intercultural relationship is because you feel bullied or pressured, obligated to go into the relationship, or somebody throws the R word, racist, your way. I have had that happen to me actually. And it really, really messed with me, especially since this person was somebody that I cared about a lot. If you have somebody that tries to approach you from the angle of, if you won't consider dating me or going on a date with me, that means that you're a racist. That person has their own issues. They're projecting. Don't get sucked into it. Don't let somebody manipulate you into being in a relationship with them if you, again, are not comfortable with the idea of the relationship. The third reason that you do not want to use as a premise for dating interracially or interculturally is trying to redistribute the balance of power or redistribute the balance of wealth. I have had some very, very weird encounters with people who feel like they have to date somebody of a different different race or they have to date somebody of a different culture so that we have some racial and social equity. Growing up in the United States, you would think that somebody would want to date you because they see a future with you. They love you. They want to spend the rest of their lives with you. Not because I want to give a black person or because I want to give a Hispanic person the opportunity to level up financially speaking. Reason number four, and it sounds silly, but I've heard it, easy access to certain cultures food. I remember hearing a story of a guy that said that he absolutely loved Mexican food. And whenever you asked him about his Mexican wife, he would only talk about her food, <laughs> how wonderful of a cook she was, all the different things that she would make for him, how he didn't have to go out to restaurants anymore. He was getting the authentic culinary Mexican experience. It was almost like he was using her as his, as his live-in chef. It's a stupid, stupid reason to date somebody. Reason number five would be thinking that if you could just date this race, all of your dating issues would be resolved. A lot of people think that if they can just jump the divide and date this other person, all of the stress, all of the other things will just go away. If there is an issue that is repeating itself relationship after relationship after relationship, and the common denominator is you, I think that's the thing that needs to be looked at. Number one, with different races come different dynamics or with different cultures come different dynamics and different expectations. And you're giving yourself a whole new set of complications or just experiences that you will have to deal with that weren't part of the other relationships that you were in. So maybe for a while it might distract you from the real issue that's at hand, but you will still have that same problem in that other relationship. You can go from one situation to another and it will still remain. Number six might sound very simplistic and obvious in nature, but you shouldn't be dating somebody because you have a racial or a cultural fetish. It's like boiling down the essence of a person to this one factor. I actually dated somebody, I found out afterwards but the reason he dated me was because he was obsessed with black women and the idea that black women had big butts. I didn't really realize, like in the beginning, I was like, oh, these are compliments. And then in the end, I was like, these are not compliments. This is kind of unsettling. When you come out of those kinds of relationships, at least in my experience, I felt really used. If you want to date the person, date them for who they are. Don't date a person's color, date their character. Don't date a person's culture, date that person's character. And lastly, but not least, point number seven that you should not use as a justification for dating somebody from a different race or a different culture is the fact that you see them as a challenge. There are people who will look at somebody from a different race or from a different culture 
and they will want to date that person just because there is a thrill in the chase of dating somebody who is so, so different from you. And when you finally obtain this relationship, you don't know what to do. It was all about the thrill of the chase, the game, the courting, the flirting. But what do you do with them? What do you do with the relationship? What do you do with the differences? The other and more toxic side of that coin is if you see a person as a challenge and you want to change them. I'm from the United States and I just happen to be in a relationship with you. You're from a different culture, but guess what? You're gonna have to adapt to mine. You speak a different language. Oh, sorry, I speak English. So you're going to have to adapt to speaking English all the time. I don't wanna hear this other language. You're with an American and this is the way that we do things. Just watch a couple episodes of 90 Day Fiance. Happens all the time. People want to be with the person that is different, but they don't want to accept the differences. They want to make this person a version of what they feel comfortable with. If you're going out on a limb, you're dating somebody different, you should be expecting that the experience is gonna be different. The person should not have to forget who they are or lose their identity to be with you and vice versa. So I'm coming down off of my soapbox. Those are the reasons that I wanted to share with you that you should avoid using as justifications for being in a relationship with somebody who is from a different culture than you are, or that is a different race than you are. I hope that you found them useful. If you have other tips that you think that somebody should know when considering whether to be in a relationship with somebody interculturally or interracially, drop them down below. If you enjoyed this video, I ask that you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, check out our other videos and playlists that we have on our channel to learn a little bit more about us and the diverse relationship that we have. As we always say on our channel, with God, all things are possible and we will see you in the next video. Bye.